So are your hybrid hazelnuts tested for resistance to eastern filbert blight? <laughs> Our hybrid hazelnuts live with eastern filbert blight. Here's, here's a, a distinct difference between a restoration agriculture farm and a orchard of whether it's fruit or nuts or whatever it is. Restoration agriculturists not only grow the crop in question, we also are actively involved in breeding, pest and disease resistance, all of that uh, work is being done on our farms by how we manage our systems. When we first started here, I brought in hazelnuts from at least a dozen different nurseries all across the country, from Oregon and Washington, upstate New York, Minnesota, Ohio, Canada, uh, and planted them uh, out on our farm. And I treated them with what I call sh stun, sheer total utter neglect. And uh, when diseases first started to show up, no control. Do no control of the diseases because I am not interested in getting stuck in the input wagon where I have to spray or maintain or manage to take care of my plants and keep them alive. If a plant wants to die, let it die. If a plant wants to live, help it to live. So by not, uh, not fighting against disease, I've got eastern filbert blight like you wouldn't believe all through my hazelnut plantings. And the ones that are susceptible to eastern filbert blight die. They're out of the gene pool. If they produce nuts, we'll actually eat them. Um, they're perfectly, you know, okay to eat. They're, they're a fine nut, but the tree's just going to die eventually. The ones that are resistant to the eastern filbert blight those are the ones that all of a sudden we will save seed from to plant again. Well, not just anyone that's, that's resistant to eastern filbert blight do we save. It's only the top 10% that we actually save for seed for our seedling uh, stock. So has it been tested uh, for resistance to eastern filbert blight? Our hybrid hazelnuts have lived with eastern filbert blight for pushing 20 years now.